folks and welcome to another day, another vlog. Today I wanted to go to TJ Maxx, the thrift store, the Target, all these places. There are a couple things that I need to source out for different projects that I'm working on in like different videos and I decided to use today as a day to source such things. If you like Shop With Me's or Target or the thrift store or TJ Maxx or any of that, then come along for the ride. Hey folks, welcome back. Um, we're in the car now because there was like nothing in that Target, which is really strange because I feel like Target typically has everything. But <clears throat> as you see, I was looking at the wooden bowl section because that's kind of what I'm in the search for. And I think I'm gonna have better luck at getting more for my buck at the thrift store. So I'm gonna look up a couple of thrift stores since I'm in Austin and see when they open. They probably don't open for another hour or so, but I'm gonna see like what is going on there and then keep it pushing. Maybe I'll stop by another Target and see, cause like that one was kind of wiped out. I'm like, Target, everybody shops at you. Why are you empty? <laughs> So I just got out of Ross and not much there either. It's 9.30 now, so I think I'm actually gonna get myself some food, like a breakfast sandwich or something from somewhere. Where that is, I, I don't know. Truthfully speaking, I probably shouldn't be eating a breakfast sandwich, but I plan on working out later today, so. If anybody wears head wraps, do y'all get like 
headaches and stuff I gotta figure out how to adjust this thing because it's it's the knot is a little too tight and it's like poking me in the head this this is not gonna do but I'm gonna adjust this figure out where I'm gonna go next like I said I'm gonna try to see if I can get a breakfast sandwich of some sort I think I fixed my little head wrap thingy it's just that the knot was so flipping tight up here but I'm trying to like give it a little bit more shape okay that looks much better oh queen of Sheba who okay baby. okay I should have put some earrings on I think it would look less like a naked mole rat and more like a an adult human being but let's get us some food cuz you know that's what we doing all right so I got some food I got a lox bagel from holy bagel one of my coworkers told me about it I'm looking for my invisible thingy one of my coworkers told me about it <laughs> sorry so nasty but one of my coworkers told me about it and as someone who's from the east coast and not even just the east coast but the northeast coast you know what i'm saying we take our bagels very seriously my fiance would not like me eating in this but c'est la vie i'm hungry and i have not eaten today so we're gonna do a little bit of a car taste test oh it's got tomatoes on it I love tomatoes, like I'm a true Jersey girl, but I don't like it on my lox bagel. Here we go. This is what it looks like. There's a lot of cream cheese up in there. Oh. Mmm. Probably should have had them toast it. But not bad with the tomatoes too. I'm gonna keep on stuffing my face and I'll probably see you guys when I get home. Still in the car. And I got a new friend. <laughs> that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> well, hello, folks, and welcome back. We are home. We're gonna do a quick haul. Let me kind of like unbag everything so we don't have to deal with all of the rustling of bags and then we can get into it. Okay, so I went to a couple places. I went to Ross, I went to two Goodwills, Walmart, Target. From Walmart, nothing too crazy fancy. Labels. So just got some return address labels and then just some shipping labels because I'm going to be sending out our invitations for our wedding probably within the next couple of days because I'm still getting some addresses for people. Okay, so this is like totally, totally random haul. So, oh, I went to Joann's. I knew there was somewhere else I went. So, okay. From Joann's, there's a whole bunch of stuff that I'm working on and it'll become clear in future videos. But I got some like raffia, just like some decorative stuff. What are they calling this? Oh yeah, raffia natural palm tree fibers. So just a bag of raffia. Kind of still on the topic of, you know, the invitations. Like I got the labels for the envelopes and everything. Invitations are actually... You see that yellow envelope right there? Invitations are in there. And I wanted some really cute stickers to like put on the back. Um, just because it's like, it's not a regular letter that I'm sending to people, right? And I'm not mailing a ton of them. So it's not like I need to, like I can be a little bit more unique. So at first I was thinking about doing, what are they called? Like the wax seals. Um, I think you guys know what I'm talking about, but I'll have a picture of it or something. But I wanted to do the wax seals with like, me and my fiance's initials on them. But I was like, it's gonna take too long for shipping because I was gonna um, order it from Etsy and stuff. But I was like, nah, let me let me not do that. So let me just look at some stickers. So I brought, so I picked up a couple actually. I should have looked at the back. It'll work out. But I got these Halloween stickers because I really like these. Let's see if I can make it a little bit clearer. But I'm looking at the back and there's like all these different ones, but these I did not want. I literally just wanted these. And I thought it was like 10 sheets of this, but I think I only need to send out maybe like eight in the mail, I wanna say, maybe eight, I, I, I can't remember. 
so you know it'll be fine either way and then I got these which I thought were really pretty too and then the last thing I got from Joann's is a full um a glue gun with full sign glue stick full sign full size glue sticks because I needed a first of all I needed glue sticks but I couldn't remember the size and I couldn't find ones that were just like your regular standard size hot glue sticks they were all either super mini which is too small or they were full size like this so they were too big so I was like you know what I need a more kind of sturdy just bigger and better hand held um, you know glue gun so I decided to just kind of splurge on a new one and it had the glue sticks in there already so and actually maybe this weekend I'll actually break this out because I'm working on I'm always working on a project so that was Joann's from Ross I got this which says happy ever after happily ever after I don't really care about this part I mainly care about this this will make more sense probably next month or November October November some point this this will make more sense um, as to why I bought this um, and then I bought some canvases so then from Target the Target that I went to just as I said in the car just wasn't that great when I had nothing in it and I went there probably a half hour after they opened but I got one of these loofahs um, because I typically use like exfoliating gloves every day but that was causing me to break out and causing me to like itch a little bit too much so I thought okay let me decrease the amount of times that I'm exfoliating each week and get me a loofah so I'm gonna use this hopefully it's a little bit more a, a little bit less harsh on my skin than like exfoliating every day I ran out of my deep conditioner and this is the one that I use from Shea Moisture to deep treatment mask this smells so good it smells like something my sister would use it just it just smells so good they have a body scrub that's like olive oil something something that i got from bed bath and beyond like probably when i moved to texas and i just finished it maybe about a month ago and it's it smells so good it smells a lot like this and then the last thing i got from target was these magnetic lashes from ardell so one of my friends told me about magnetic lashes and i'm going to be kind of playing around with my makeup for the wedding just trying to figure out what type of look i want and i really wanted to try out magnetic lashes so i saw these in target and was like "Ooh, let me try them out and see if they work they do have and i don't know if you'll be able to tell but they have like little tabs here i'm wondering if that's the magnetic part but when it comes to putting on lashes like i got some I think I have Ardell lashes downstairs, like a set. Band lashes are so hard for me to put on. So I figured why don't I try these out, see if the magnetic ones work, and then I can, my whole makeup look will be complete because when I do my own makeup, it's not glam. It's very much like enhances, I feel like my natural features and stuff. And that's how I wanna look on my wedding day with the addition of lashes, that's really it. Like I might pile it on a teeny bit more than I typically would just for the sake of photos and, and video and stuff if we do have video, but this is honestly the thing that's the toughest thing for me. So we'll try these out. You'll most likely see these in a video at some point. And then we got one more thing, probably the most random bit of the haul. A pot! <laughs> There's actually stuff in here, but let me just take them out real quick. So I'm sourcing some things out for my business and I have a couple of ideas of like branding and marketing and advertising and all that kind of stuff. So that's kind of why I have some super random items in this haul. But I needed a pot because I'm going to be creating some things, kind of testing some things out and I require a pot. It'll make sense if I, if I decide to divulge more information on it, it'll make more sense later. And then the final thing that I got from Goodwill are these and let me just take out one so there are these little balls they're so adorable like I love the pattern on them it's just like this crisscross detail on them they're white that's all I got I went to several places probably more places than I was anticipating to go to today but I did actually come out with some things that I'm really like digging you know thanks for kicking it with me today guys and I'll see you on the next one bye